The most commonly asked question that I get from uh, bond and people who want to own bonds uh, is usually, what do I do with my high yield fund? Uh, and we all know that high yield funds in general are not yielding <laughs> that very high yield. Uh, most of them are in the oh three and a half percent range right now. Um, wh where, what is your thoughts on high yield right now? The, the, the general feeling for a lot of investors is still stay in there because the Federal Reserve is essentially ring fencing the economy and essentially particularly protecting uh, the, the high yield uh, companies uh, that are out there, those who have high yield uh, funds uh, and, and bonds um, from default. Uh, what's your view on high yield right now? Yeah, thanks, Bob. I think we've got to look at the fundamentals for high yield issuers are quite good. We have an economy that's reopening. We have very strong fiscal policy. We have very supportive monetary policy. That makes a good environment for corporate borrowers. The valuation, as you've cited, yields are low by historic standards. I think investors should be realistic about the expected return. Is that If it's in that neighborhood of 35 to 4%, I think that's the, the right place to center expectations. But given that, we do feel like the bonds are likely to produce that return over the near to intermediate term because, as you alluded to, there's really strong monetary policy that's going to be supportive. The Fed has made clear that until inflation is demonstrably above 2% for an extended period, like 12 months, and employment has neared full employment across many different subsectors of workers, the Fed is going to hold out from tightening a monetary policy. So compared to past periods, returns may not be as generous. There's good reason to believe that the returns embedded at a 3.5% yield will be earned over the near to intermediate term.